Hey guys, I'm Alexi Panos and we're hooking it up on the Alloy 10. It's Saturday afternoon, you're flipping through the pages of your favorite tabloid and bam, there it is. A photo of your ultimate celeb crush spotted with her? It happens all the time in Hollywood. The most unlikely pairs are springing up on red carpets, out on Friday nights, and sometimes on TV in your living room. I mean, how could they? So we're taking matters into our own hands. Stick with us as we play Hollywood matchmaker, but don't throw tomatoes at your screen if you don't agree with our picks. Number 10, Leah Michelle and Hunter Parrish. Let's start off the countdown with two young stars who have missed their shot at love on the Broadway stage, but who we think should meet up and see where things take them. Our fave Gleet Leah Michelle got her start in the original cast of the Broadway musical Spring Awakening, but after her run was up, a new cast took over, including the smoking hot Hunter Parrish from Weeds. He may not seem like the singing and dancing type when he's all stoned down on Showtime, but maybe some mellow energy is just what Leah needs in her free time. Hey, they could run lines together and hit the high notes. Number nine, Taylor Swift and Corey Monty. Speaking of gleeks, we like where the tabloids have gone with the whole Corey Monteith and Taylor Swift story. I mean, sure, he's a bit old for her. He's almost 28 and she's only 19, but they look super cute together. And that's all that matters, right? Number eight, Kesha and Brody Jenner. While Taylor and Corey are clean cut and shiny, our next pairing is a little bit more edgy. We think Brody Jenner needs a match and we think that girl could be Kesha. They both love to go out all night and get into trouble, plus Kesha said she only dates guys with beards. So if Brody hasn't shaved this month and as long as he doesn't mind waking up in a lot of glitter, we think it could work. You can already see the cat fights between her and Kristen Cavallari. Number seven, Emma Roberts and Carter Jenkins. We know we're not supposed to fall for on-screen couples in real life, but Emma and Carter had us convinced in Valentine's Day that they were made for each other. He was super romantic, and if Emma is anything like her Aunt Julia, she's got to be a suck for happy endings. Let's just hope they didn't get sick of each other while filming. Number six, Whitney Port and Brian Greenberg. New York City is the city that never sleeps, and when you're Whitney Port and you're being filmed while you're sleeping, well, finding true love just really isn't in the cards. Enter laid-back, mega-looker Brian Greenberg. He's also filming in this city, but his show is a little less about Olivia Palermo's attitude and more about making it in the fashion industry, just like Whitney. His character on How to Make It in America is starting his own denim line, so if Whit could offer up a little of Kelly Catrone's hand-me-down advice, these two city dwellers could have a lot to talk about. Time for number five, Noah Cyrus and Frankie Jonas. These younger siblings know a thing or two about having famous families and growing up in the spotlight. Sure, the Joe Bros and Miley are household names, but we think some puppy love between Noah and Frankie could be just the thing to catapult these little stars to ultimate fame. Plus, they already know each other. They shared the voice leads on Ponyo last year. And while they may only be like 10 years old right now, it does seem like our only hope to ever having that fantasy Cyrus Jonas wedding. Oh, just imagine the celebrity turnout. For number four, we've got Kiki Palmer and Brandon T. Jackson. Kiki always blows it out of the water as fun-loving and hilarious True Jackson, so she needs a mate who can bring out the best in her. And that's where Brandon T. Jackson comes in. Anyone who can stand out when up against Tom Cruise in a fat suit and Robert Downey Jr. in face paint in Tropic Thunder deserves a girl like Kiki. Brandon even made being half man, half goat hot in Percy Jackson. We think these two could make each other laugh. Number three, Nina Dobrev and Kellen Lutz. If Emmett Cullen can't have every vampire girl of their dreams, um, Bella, well then he just deserves the next best thing, Nina Dobrev. We know she's open to dating vampires because she's practically attached to Stefan on The Vampire Diaries. So all Kellen will have to do to get her attention is to come out after sundown and make sure to save her from something scary with his superhuman strength. Well, that sounds easy enough. On to number two, Ashley Green and Chase Crawford. Our next matchup victims, I mean couples, Ashley and Chase, are both living double lives compared to their on-screen characters. Chase is a downtown dude these days, trying to separate himself from the Upper East Side, and Ashley likes to get naked for the camera and leak the photos. But no, really. These two would probably hit it off. They both know what it's like to be a part of pop phenomenon. Not 
everyone can be a vampire in Twilight or part of the New York City elite on Gossip Girl so they could comfort each other while they've had enough of the red carpet. Here's hoping. And we've reached our number one, Selena Gomez and Logan Lerman. There was some buzz a little while ago that Mr. Percy Jackson and Selena were into each other. She did tell Alloy that she'd send him a valentine that said good job, and when he was hitting the talk show circuit to promote his movie, everyone wanted to know if he was going to ask her out. She better snatch him up before he gets too big. Don't want a rerun of her short-lived Taylor Lautner romance. We give you permission. Go for it, guys. Well, that about does it for this edition of Couple Matchup. I think I'm going to stick to my day job. Tune in next week for another episode of The Alloy 10. <laughs>